Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Omni Factory. This is part 18. Okay, so off camera, I went and hit, I went ahead and made the recipe for the data models. So the data models require gold wire, they require the pulsating meshes, the circuits, and the plates. Not too crazy. And we should be getting the quest done there. There we go. Okay. Now we want to make uh, overworldian matter. Provide your simulation chamber with RF power and pulsating polymer clay. Then insert a data model of your choice. The sim chamber will consume the polymer clay and a decent amount of power to begin simulating mob kills. This will generate overworldian matter and may occasionally provide you with pristine matter. Right. So. We want to start off with the zombie data model, as it is going to be the most lucrative. It is responsible for giving us iron, like we said earlier. So, I'm going to need a rotten flesh. Do I have... Yes, I do have one somewhere. There we go. And... Ba-bam. Nice. So we have our zombie data model, so let's go over here. We'll pop that in. And now we'll have this interface where it tells us the tier, how many iterations it's gone through, and what the chance of a pristine data is. Now, we do not have the clay just yet, but that is a very simple fix, actually. So let me just grab some of this. And where did I put that other pulsating dust? There we go. Okay, so I'm going to make up a bunch of this stuff. But I'll just take a few for the time being, just to show you my point. Okay, so it's going to take a while to craft even one, but no matter. So we have the pulsating clay right here. We're going to come over here to our data model, our sim chamber, and we put it into the chamber here. Now it's going to start cooking up, right? Now I'm just thinking, so that's going to be the drawer that is going to populate the machines. So we are going to be needing some item conduits. Not there. There we go. So it's not enough, but it'll be, it'll maybe do for the time being. I'm going to say we're going to pull out from the top up there and we're going to insert into... Oops, we're gonna in oh, dang it. We're gonna insert into the top. Right? So insert. Oops, not that. And insert. Right? And uh the drawer will go here. But we are gonna be pulling from the back here. Like so. And we'll be coming over. Actually, let's see. Uh, like that. And I'm going to separate these channels. Okay. And then right here is where we're going to have the uh, item drawers. Right. Which will accept the pristine data that we are going to be feeding into it. All right, so we'll have a drawer up there and um, this drawer will be holding our clay which gets sent over here. Okay, so here we go. We have our first matter. We didn't get any pristine matter, but that's okay. Quest complete. Okay, so I made quite oh wow 10 quarters, huh? That's pretty nice. So yeah, like I was saying, oh That's right <laughs> This one is not gonna be easy. In fact, I won't even begin there for a while actually I'll be needing some machines, but we'll get to that point later on They want us to make a data model for creeper witches skeletons spiders guardian this is the one that we... Oh, no, we... Actually, this is gold. So we still want that, but not 
as heavily as I thought before. What we want to get uh, right away out are the Enderman data model and the Shulker data model. The Shulker data model is going to be what gives us the diamonds, and of course, the Enderman the Enderman model is what will give us Ender pearls. Now, why we need Ender pearls so much? Well, Ender pearls can be smelted down into a liquid form. Uh, ba ba ba. Ah, here we go. So we can smelt it down into molten ender. Now, if we have a chemical reactor, we can combine that with nether quartz, and we'll get a resonant cloth rate. Now, earlier I kind of showed this, but if we take a resonant cloth rate, cloth, well, a resonant cloth rate and smelt it up in a furnace, we get pulsating dust. And pulsating dust... Oh, uh, that's for later. Uh, pulsating dust and I oops, pulsating dust and a diamond gives us ender pearls. Or, sorry, pulsating dust and clay gives us the pulsating polymer clay. So, I'm gonna drop this clay into the machine here. Um, I actually want to make the next level of uh, matter, which is hellish matter. Now, hellish matter is going to be uh, made by four overworldian matter and four or uh, and one netherrack. Now, if I remember, we're going to need dust block and lava. So I believe, in order to make the next matter after that, it will require uh, four hellish matter. Right, but uh, uh, I think we need to get, yeah, we're going to need to get a hellish mob data model if we're going to want to make more hellish matter. Now, if I remember the math right, we need, uh, bu -bu -bu. actually, let me just do this, blaze data. So a blaze data model is going to require seven hellish matter, so we need 20 eight overworldian matter oh look we got a zombie matter awesome so if you come over here we'll pop the uh the the the, the pristine matter in here we'll say we'll give a give us uh give us iron and there we go it cooks it right up and now I don't have to go mining as much anymore. I will, at this point, probably be buying uh, more Stibnut, no, Uranite, as that is the ore that I can smelt up for easy pulsating dust. However, the end game, I will be generating the uh, pulsating dust through Enderman. Okay, so. I am going to let this idle out. Uh, oops, why did I... Crap, where did I put the other model? The data... The, the matter. There it is. Uh, matter, 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 matter. Okay. Uh, right, so... Dust block and... That lava tank. Do I have a bucket anywhere? Bucket, 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 bucket. Bucket. Actually, you know what? Okay, it's fine. Uh, actually, how much is in there? 13 buckets? Why not? Okay, so I'm going to put the whole bucket of lava in here. Like that. So we have the whole bucket, the whole container of 13 buckets. And I will take... Oops. Oh, oh well, I'll just put the dust blocks in there, and we're making us up the nether rack we need. Oh, why did I do that? We have the nether now. Ah, whatever. Uh, 
How's this coming along? Okay, we just need about 10 more. 10 more. Uh, that's okay. While that's cooking, oops, I, I need to fix that. While that's cooking, I know I have some blaze somewhere. Where did I put it? There it is. Go ahead and deposit some crap. Do I have any uh, fries? Yes, I do. Awesome. How's this coming along now? Okay, still not there quite yet. Is there anything else that I can do in the meantime? Oh yeah, so I already marked off uh, Uranite, so I can go mining for that later. So yeah, I do have this setup here. I'm just thinking, should I go ahead and just remove this medium voltage power setup? Now, you know what? I'm going to keep that there and I'm going to go ahead and make another CEF uh, for, for the uh, system over here that is going to be making all of the pulsating dust. We got another data model or data matter. Right, so um, now that we have this, I want to show you something nice, if I can find it. Okay, so if you have some extra meat lying around and you have some overworld matter, you can take that meat and make flush. And if you have flush, you can take four overworlding matter and make some easy iron. I mean, that's... I guess if you have if you really need an abundance of iron right away but um i mean with this going we'll have all the iron that we really need okay so while that's cooking still let's go ahead and make the drawers that we're going to be needing so let's see wood 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 or the chest do i have any wood left on me it would appear not. So let me just toss. Oops, I didn't want to get rid of that. Let me get it back. Lumber axe. Here we go. What's in here? I'm just gonna temporarily toss some things in there. And with the satchel, I'll be picking up some uh, wood trees, uh, tree, tree farm stuff. Where? Okay, they're all in here. Huh. Didn't get back as many uh, saplings as I had hoped. Unless... Yeah, there were there still wasn't all that much to begin with, actually. <gasps> God. Freaking creepers. Anyway. Let's go back into the house. Craft up some wood here. Oh, I made too much. Oh well. No big deal. And bop bop. Oops. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, why not? I'll make six. Okay. So with the drawers, I'll pop, let's see, one here. Uh, bop bop. I'm just thinking here. I guess I could put item conduits down here. One there. And then like that. And oh, you know what? I need to put them up, up here. Right, so I'm gonna have to extend that up one, and then I'll go ahead and hide the conduits with stone. Ever I don't have much in the way of conduits right now, so let's fix that. Uh, whatever. I should have I should have the data model data matter now. I'll grab that real quick. Real qu I cannot talk today. Uh, I keep getting stupid spam emails about PayPal. Okay. Uh, right. So there's the matter or the nether rack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Give us the 
Blaze data model. Awesome. Okay, so... Oh, you know what? That didn't... Ah! Oh, well, I'll, I'll just get this... Get the matter here. Okay, so that's cooking up. That's gonna... Oh, so yes, another thing about this is that each data model takes its own amount of power. So the Blaze model is taking up... Oh, boy. 1024 RF per tick. We cannot sustain ourselves on this so i'm just gonna pull it back out or actually no uh put it back in for now but i won't give it any i won't give it any clay there we go okay so we, we got that quest complete this one arguably a little bit easier we're still yeah okay so gas tier isn't that bad spider eye sugar and hellish matter so that's simple uh the skeleton should be simple too just skeleton skulls which, with with that, I can just make a skeleton data model, and we'll be golden. So that will be a whole process there. Okay, so yeah, I've got an iron supply now, and I can make extra iron if I wanted to, with the uh, the flesh and the the matter I have. Okay, so where else, where are we exactly? Did I? I wonder if I, uh, oh yeah, I believe off camera, I had made a, another lapidary augments for, did I? Yeah, okay. I made another lapidary augment for this machine. So I'm just gonna pop that all in there. And, oh yeah, and we do, we do have the upgraded conduits, so those should be taking, what was it, 2,000 RF per tick each? So I guess I can power the Blaze model for the time being. I do want more hellish matter because I want to make the next matter, which is going to be the uh, extraterrestrial. So seven times four. Actually, I think, yeah, no, uh, I'll make one data, data, ma data model, and then I'll go and use the byproduct uh, that it makes, the matter. I'll, make, I'll take the matter that it makes and make the other data model, being Enderman and Shulker. And I might make Shulker first because that will give me diamonds. Uh, ba ba. I think I can make make enough. Um, no, I don't think I have enough materials actually right now. Oh no! Okay, I'm mistaken. So with the hellish matter, we need a pearl. Pearl. Wait. Uh, Shulker. All oh, right, seven. Okay, so seven pearls, and there we go. Pop that in the furnace. Pop that. Nice. Okay, so, uh, there's more clay that we can use, so I'll keep in mind that. In fact, uh, at this point, I don't think we need any more hellish matter, so I'll just dedicate the iron uh, to the clay. But the next data model we can make will be a skeleton. 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 Here we go. We take a data model, a bone, and boom. Oops. We have a skeleton data model. So, actually, I will pop this bad boy out and put that there deal some of these and bam the one thing that is great about this mod is let's see if i can do this right okay so there is a keybind p and it is part of draconic evolution it is a mod that will let us place items on the wall like this so in that regard i can just have these data models set aside for later usage. 
Okay, so with that out of the way, I want to get back to making the item conduits, but as well making the next data ma data model. So close. And we could probably end off the episode with at least the extraterrestrial matter and the shulker data matter data model what is with that word i can't say right oh oh i'm gonna sneeze hold on okay i was able to mute myself in time uh Crap, did I underestimate how much matter I needed? I did, didn't I? Oh, well, there's the quest credit for that. I don't know why I thought I needed less. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, matter? Okay, we are going to need to get that model out of there. But with this skeleton matter, we can make, uh, we need the skulls right now, so we'll make those. Oh, uh, bu -bu -bu, take that. And pop that in there. And we should, we need like, um, four times four, 16, 14 more matter. Okay, with the skulls, Maybe we can make the next um, data model. What was it that we needed? Okay, a hellish matter. So we're going to sacrifice one matter here. And skulls. And wither skeleton. Nice. I'll pop that back. So, quest, quest book, quest book, quest book. Oh, uh... Do I need to combine this? No. Uh, okay. Did I miscalculate what I needed? No. Okay. Uh, I just need more hellish matter for that, which I don't want to use right now. Okay. We need 14, I believe it was. Let's see. 7 minus 3, 4 times 4, 16. Yes, 16. Okay, uh, there's some more there. What did uh, the hellish matter need again? Just the nether rack, right? That nether rack, okay. Rack. Nether rack. There we go. I have significantly reduced the hellish matter amount we need. One, oh wait. Three more. Oh, and it looks like our zombie model has upgraded. So now there is a 10% chance of us getting a matter to get iron or potatoes or whatever else we could want. So that's pretty good. I I really can't wait to get into uh, resource generation because that will be nice. I'm gonna go ahead and make some magma blocks for some free lava. Oh, there we go. We have our we have our uh, matter. Let's pop that into here and bam, bam. There we go. Now I just need a single diamond. Pop that in, pop that in, and voila. One shulker data model. Okay, so this is gonna be top priority right now. Let's substitute that in. This is gonna take 512, so not bad actually. A lot better. So that hopefully this will get us some uh, matter quickly because we need that diamond. Now with the shulker pristine matter, we'll be getting the whole six diamonds out of that, right? So that will be pretty nice once the 
data model reaches uh, self-aware status. Let's pop that back. And let's pop that there. So I know where they are at all times. Okay. We can probably make some more... I could probably make some more clay here. But the idea is that I'm going to need to make macerators, uh, two furnaces, a fluid extractor, a chemical reactor, I believe a electrolyzer, so quite a bit of machines in order to make my polymer clay setup. That being said, I'm going to be making these machines off screen uh, because there is a lot involved. For one, I need a lot of motors, a lot of pistons. Uh, reactor, how bad is the chemical reactor? Okay, still a lot of bronze stuff. But, yeah. I will be making all that off camera. And probably in the next episode, I will come back and walk you through the setup that I put up for the uh, pulsating clay. This will probably go somewhere in here, or maybe off the corner, somewhere neat, which then the uh, results will come up, uh, will come up and pipe their way into this chest here. Oh yeah, that's right. I was gonna make some more item conduits, but I'm probably gonna do some AF cane to get a buildup of clay to get um, this baby powered up. Oh, we already got one matter. Nice. So we're just gonna feed it that and get some diamonds back now. The things are looking up. We have the power generation now going, or power generation's fuel going. We uh, can keep those machines running a little bit longer. Pretty good deal. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just tempted to reuse this, but I still am going to need uh, medium voltage machines. And I'm going to need a lot of them. So I'm going to need to figure out a way to make everything pretty in the base right here. In fact, why don't we start... Uh, do I have to, I have to go put it away? There we go. Uh, we got some time. So, like I was going to say, maybe we should start knocking out the walls across the way. Uh, now would be a good time, probably, or actually, uh, I was going to say... It'd be a good time to make a drill. However, did they make it any easier in this? Uh, no, it's still $500 for the drill core. Um, flux bore. Yeah, okay, we're still gonna need the tool casing, which means we're gonna need a drill core, which means we either need to generate 500 Omnicoins, or we can go find it in the wild in Oh dear. And uh, Lost Cities. Okay, so we're going to need to use the big boy excavator here. Just like that. Simple as can be. I don't know where I was going with that thought. Uh, I think 12 would be a good distance. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. And then from here on, um, I can do the whole uh bu -bu, hold a second the whole replacement setup now let's see i want floor i want to see i want to try to get the most ground here oh yeah that is nice yeah i love that i really love the effortless building mod now that i know that you can make a range upgrade and make it so you reach pretty much way further than what you would normally get. Now I wonder, can I do this? Wait, cube? 
skeleton maybe here let me try this uh, how okay i don't think that's gonna i don't know how to do that properly let me just do this uh wall like that and that now how tall was the other inner room ignoring the floor so it was one two three four five six tall from the hole there so one two three four five six wait was it six and then the ceiling oh okay uh one, two, three, four, five, six, six, and then the ceiling. Okay, we are coming up on the end of the episode here. So, uh, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just take care of this. Oops, not that. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, uh. Ah, crap. Ah. Uh. Hurry, 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 hurry. I want to get this made, and then we can cut. There we go. Okay. Room complete. That was simple as could be. I will see you guys next time after I clean up this room and make it nicer. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please leave a like or comment down below if you enjoyed yourself. And uh, I will be seeing you all next time. Bye-bye.